The theories about gravity have changed over time, but it's still one of the most easily observable forces and yet also one of the least understood in our universe. Originally, the Newtonian view of gravity first proposed that two bodies are pulled towards each other directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. In this way, the force acts much in the same way as magnets do, with each object directly influencing the other. The closer they get to each other, the greater the force and the more they accelerate towards each other until they meet. When one body, like the Earth, is so much larger than, say, an apple, of course the movement of the larger body is barely noticeable. This view of gravity seemed a reasonable view of events and worked very well on a practical level. However, when the motions of the planets were closely observed, this model didn't seem to be entirely accurate. In order to make sense of the new data, a new model was required. This came in the form of general relativity. Here, instead of each object influencing the other directly, instead they influence something else, which then influence the other body. To understand this model, you really need to view it in four dimensions, which, of course, since we're so used to three dimensions, it's rather difficult to visualise. The easiest way, then, is to remove one of the standard dimensions and replace it with a new one. So we have length and width, but remove height and instead replace that with space-time. It isn't to say that the force doesn't actually operate in three dimensions, it's just it's easier to view it that way. So if you imagine, say, a trampoline as a model, the skin of which represents the length and width dimensions, and that any distortions of the skin will be the distortions of space-time. When you place a large, heavy object in the trampoline, like a bowling ball, it distorts the skin far more than, say, a tennis ball would. As a result, the tennis ball will move towards the bowling ball because of the slope of the trampoline caused by the mass of the bowling ball. This distortion of space-time, which is the model for gravity in general relativity, the greater the mass, or the heavier the object, the more the level of the trampoline is lowered, but also the greater the area that distortion is seen over. On the edge of the trampoline, the angle of the slope will actually be quite gentle, so the force of gravity is also quite gentle. The closer you get to the mass, the slope gets greater, so does the force of gravity. Now, if we put something on the trampoline that has a very tiny volume, but actually quite a fair amount of mass, the distortion is very pronounced close to the mass, and the slope of the trampoline is almost vertical. And this is close to what a black hole is, so that anything on the near vertical slope, or the event horizon, has no possibility of doing anything other than falling into the black hole. But anything further away, we just experience a normal gravitational pull. So why then does this dimension have the quirky name of space-time? Well, the distortion caused by mass will bend space so that a black hole or another large mass in space passing between us and another star will bend the light from that star, making the star appear to move in space. But, more, or more importantly, the closer you get to a large mass, the slower time passes. As you go out, say, from the Earth to a satellite in orbit, time passes slower in the Earth than it does out in this satellite. This time difference is used by GPS systems to find your location. That th is a theory as far as it goes and corrects all the errors with Newtonian view of gravity. But what about the mechanism? How does a mass distort space-time? And then, how does this d distortion then influence other masses over such great distances? There are some theories that focus in something called gravitons. These actually produce more problems than they solve. My speculative view of this you need to see the next video.